like the best thing about doing fettuccines at home, raw fettuccines, or, or spaghettis or whatever you want to do. There are a couple of tools that you can use, but I prefer this tool. It keeps you practicing in the kitchen, it keeps you sharp, and it makes food look really good. Instead of using those spirulis where just everything comes out uh, looking round like a spaghetti shape. And basically what I'll do is I'll use my flat peeler here. Um, get rid of the skin, just quickly, just nice and round. Just nice and thin, get rid of the skin. And then basically all you need to do it's just, you could even just get nice little slices like this. You can always have it flat against the board. Do this. What you don't want is that you don't want the seed part of the courgette. So just turn it around once you reach, you get closer to that part. And that's it. You just keep, keep on doing it. And uh, just to quickly show you here, and then have them fold it on top of each other, like that, nice and clean, and then fettuccine, depending on how thick you want it, right? And basically you just put it in here, it's good to keep it in cold water, because what it will do is it will get rid of the starch, which is nice, the less starch in your body, the better it's going to be for you. And plus, once you put in the sea salt and the olive oil to break it down, it will break down beautifully. It will look like angel's hair, nice and silky. Yeah? It really doesn't take that long. You know? Here we go. Beautiful. Just a bit of time. And we are nearly there. So this is... How do you do raw fettuccine at home? You know, beautiful. Look at that. Hey, okay. nice one.